Hey friends, so today's been a hectic day, a little bit anxious, anxiety about going to this doctor appointment today for my son to get his x-ray results. Even though the ER doctor already gave us a result, we're going to go with his regular doctor. You're probably going to request an MRI and talk to us about a little bit more further into the depth into those results. I noticed that as the days got closer, I became a little bit more anxious. I actually did shop quite a bit and overeat. So that's where these journaling little tidbits helps me to realize what is impacting my life to get the results that I'm getting or not getting. So we're getting ready to leave in a little bit. So pray for us, send prayers your, our way. I truly appreciate that. And I know that everything's gonna be fine because God is the greatest doctor of all doctors. And I know that regardless, he's going to heal my son. So today I started with, of course, my pre-arrival and journal, but I also wanted to do a planning session video, which you should have seen by now already. If not, I'll link it below. But just to make a little intro like this takes a lot. Sometimes you have to go and take off the tags. The tags don't come off. You got to use the goo gun. It's a mess. Sometimes the coffee's not hot enough to show how hot it is on film. And then I have to turn the twirl around the lazy Susan in such a way that you don't see the back of it all the time there's just like so many complications to making a tiny little intro but uh and even that the gnome was laying down and that's for my son because his birthday is in february so anyhow so yeah it, it was a mess but i did it. it took about 30 minutes to do that couple seconds of intro but anyway can you believe there's still christmas stuff in my house oh my goodness getting rid of the last today good morning friends it's Allie. today i'm on my way to the market it is another productive day today's productivity and a little bit of 21 day challenge i actually am going to food for less because we're out of rice probably gonna stop at the 99 cent store yeah, here i was looking at this house and they still have christmas decor i was like what <laughs> oh my goodness yeah so i want to tell you guys that you know we went to the doctor and i have i'm so thankful to god praise the lord for he is good let me tell you i prayed so much for my son's condition and we went to the doctor and the doctor basically gave us the test results and they are mild they're slightly mild condition so that's awesome i am so thankful to god for that and we still have three doctors to see for this condition but i don't want to talk about what the condition is uh, right now maybe in the near future but we are going to go to the three doctors to, g to give us more information more detailed information because they're specialists but the biggest hurdle right now is that it's a very slight condition so that is really awesome news thank you jesus praise the lord for he is good let me tell you so do not lose your faith when you have something going on in your life no matter what it is or where you are in the progress of things of any condition any disability you know with god all things are possible and i truly believe that so friends let's get started with this day look friends you see the christmas decor do you guys still have yours up <laughs> So I have to tell you, I am taking literally baby steps. You see that little motorized cart? I'm not going to use it today. It is the first time after a while. So we'll see how it goes. But so far, I'm getting along just fine in my regular cart. So I'll leave the other one for those who really need it. I really needed it for the past few months, maybe a year or so. But now it's getting better, it looks like. And it all changed when I got good shoes. <laughs> can you believe it so here are the things i was getting i was looking for some spices but you know i couldn't find them until i saw these organic ones for some reason i can't find like the paprika over at trader joe's so i decided to pick up some here i feel like these are going to be pretty good and i love the white tops they are so very pretty i also picked up some cay cayenne pepper i can never say it but yeah i love the white tops they're so cutesy and so beautiful you guys know when i sing i really love them these little squish mellows are the cutesies 14.99 they so conveniently place them right in front of you when you're checking out $33.37 and that's because the rice is actually $18 so that's kind of like the most expensive here. I have been taught that to resist temptation 
Talking about temptations, uh, shopping, right? Nowhere in the Bible does it say resist temptation. It says resist the tempter, resist the devil. That's a different issue. Maybe I should resist home way. goods right now. Nowhere in the Bible does it say resist temptation. Because whatever you resist persists. That's eye-opening. Anything you resist means you're focusing on it. And when you're focusing on it, you're still being tempted. So am I still I being tempted if I'm going to the 99? What? Oh boy, my mom and Rain look at something else. <laughs> yeah, look at something else. See, so don't look at it. Don't look at the temptation. I need to That's what he's trying to say. Look at something else. else. So Distractions. So just like when I was at the grocery store, I resisted the temptation of all those goodies just by simply not looking at them and turning away and focusing on what I was there to get. So I focused first on going to the places that I needed to pick up what I needed. So here are these Kleenexes, what I needed for my car. And they have these really beautiful boxes versus the single box and then the larger box. So you have to do a little bit of comparison. I figured that if I bought the boxes individual, it would cost me $2 more than buying the package of the four. But this one has the almost the same amount just probably like a little bit less and it's going to cost me a dollar fifty versus a four ninety nine so this is the best deal so i had to get these because sometimes we need them in the car i was also looking for some parchment paper and i found this one i love the packaging and the cute little chef how cool is that i know you have to enjoy the little things right so i was perusing over the planners because you guys know i'm a big planner nerd and I love this red one. I almost took it, but I really had to fight myself. It was only $2.99, not a bad deal, but I already have a lot. So I have to say I'm resisting temptation pretty good by now because it was super hard like the first few days, but now it's getting there. I'm getting better. This one was really challenging to leave because anything that's religious or God focused i truly love and i want it all so i had to leave them but look they have some cutesy ones too look at those cutie pies oh my goodness i got intrigued by this one this is a sensory sort of journal and this would have been really handy when my sons were little especially for autistic children these are super great because they're very tactile they feel it they touch it and it's very sensory, giving them sensory input. So that would have been great. But look at these little journals, $2.99. They're like just super cute. I love these little tumblers, but I'm not buying any more tumblers. Look at this. I really love this towel. But again, I had to leave all these things. Now, if you want to go for Valentine's Day and you don't want to say like scream Valentine's, this red one would be so right perfect now but if you want cutesy for valentine's day these are the ones now i feel like they're they're really like robbing us because it says six on there but only like three are printed that's not cool 99 we can tell even though you're hiding the plain one in the middle but anyway it's still not too bad of a deal I really love the red for Valentine's Day, but this year I decided to take a break from all the red. Now, let me tell you, all this is just like so tempting. Oh my goodness, they still have Christmas. What is up with everybody? Even the 99 still has Christmas. Now, these are my weaknesses. We love the little Debbies. Oh my goodness, they are delicious. They're also so beautiful in their looks and the designs. They are so very pretty. So I was trying to compare these versus the ones that I found because I found some that were single sizes or portions and I thought I could do that instead. But then I figured out that it's a little bit more and they're thicker cakes. So you have to be careful with that because sometimes you may think that, you know, you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck. You have to watch the calories and the fat grams and that had a lot of saturated fat. I saw these cute little donuts that I wanted as well. But after perusing over the information, and look, these are super hard because this is, these are my kids' favorite right here. But the sugar cookies with the sprinkles and the frosting, I had to leave them. So I thought I could choose something that was a little bit more healthier and 
I looked at these, but then I decided, no, I'm just going to let, you know, let us enjoy the ones we have from Trader Joe's. So I was able to resist all these temptations. Yay for me. I got only the items that I actually needed. So I was also looking for things that I could replenish my ER kit with, like bandages, you know, that sort of thing. I was looking for Curlex robes, but I didn't find anything. So I picked up that one and also look at these cute band-aids. I didn't pick those up, but they're cute. Also some toothbrushes. I really love these. These are so beautiful. $3.99. Here's the Valentine's Day section. If you haven't had a chance to check out my series on Valentine's Day, I will link it below. But these videos for today, I don't check a lot of prices because these are my WHO vlogs, meaning WHO stands for wellness, health, happiness, and organization, productivity, 21 day challenges, everything that has to do with tackling my goals and building those habits to reach your goals. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this one was so tempting. I wanted it so bad, but I had to leave it. Yep, I had to be strong for my 21 day challenge. It is super duper hard though, I have to say. Not as much as in the beginning, it's getting better. I had to let those go and just distract myself and keep going. That's what you can do is just look at the things, admire them, touch them, see how beautiful they are, put them back on the shelves and walk away to get whatever you need and most of the time i have found that when i go back when i go back around i'm able to be okay with just leaving the store without it and even days later when i see it on a video or something i'm able to be okay with not getting it baby chicks are adorable oh my goodness it was hard to leave those and these little easter bunnies how cutesy cutesy i really wanted this one with that says easter blessings but again that's emotional shopping so i had to move on i do have some of these peeps light but who knows where they are no clue in my garage this was a very cute one as well. Look at this gorgeous wreath, $4.99. It has a love sign and it has florals. Although the florals were a bit on the smash side. I don't know why they come like that. I feel like it should have had a little bit more for $5. I spent $15.77. Not too bad. On the downside, I ended up taking too long and I'm barely gonna have time to make rice which is what I came for. So not very productive right there. I lost track of shopping and filming. So I'm getting ready to give these to my kids. They're comfy sleep pillows. The standard queen size. Yeah, I said standard queen, I think. $4.99, they're like this little silvery gray and they're so pretty. And then here is my decluttering finally. I got, actually it's more like a mini haul as well. I just bought this purse. Can you believe from Dee Dee's discount store, it was $15, not a bad deal. Now I originally had, this is what I'm gonna declutter, my juicy little pouch, Juicy Couture. I originally had this to be like for a case for my phone. My phone was supposed to go in there only, but it didn't happen. I got it cluttered with all kinds of receipts and cards and paper, coins, everything. So now it's just time to declutter it. My little pouch here. So 
now it's just a matter of getting everything out of here okay so basically i just have all my cards in there and i have the lens crafter thingy in there and nothing here so i'm gonna put that little pouch in here at first i wasn't sure if it was gonna fit but it fits perfectly see perfect perfect at first i wanted the letters of juicy couture to face this way like the purse the other logos but i couldn't because the cards are that way so it's easier to see and to access my cards there so there's that so that's pretty much all i carry there and then so here in this little pocket is where my planner goes when I go with it. Except I forgot it in the car. <laughs> Anywho, so in this one goes my phone, which fits perfectly. And I can't put it in there because obviously I'm using my phone. And here, here is where my keys go. See? They fit perfectly. Just fabulous. So, and then one more thing that I did is I actually bought this little pocket pouch for your glasses and i just stick my glasses here instead of losing them because i kept leaving them in stores everywhere forgetting them and then i just close this up easier said than done with one hand but see it's attached to that and voila it's ready to go i think this is gonna work so that was my little decluttering session for today